Ah, Monsieur Kasmali, welcome again to Shay Nomi, the restaurant of the Sima Stars. Thank you, Pierre. Thank you. And I hope you have lots of chairs, Pierre. Because today, I, Guy Smiley, America's favorite game show host, am taking my entire studio audience to lunch! Yeah! Yeah! Yes, I am. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes. A very good, Monsieur Smiley, but I must know how many people are in the audience. But why, Pierre? Why? Because we may not have a table with enough chairs. Oh. But I think we do. Yeah. Oh, good. All right. All right, studio audience, step up and be counted. Just step right up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14. Come on, step right through. Okay. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Come on, move it, move it. All right, all right. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. There are 39 in my studio audience! Yeah! 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 Well, Pierre? You're in luck! I do have a table for 39! Wonderful! Oh, table yes, 17, yes, right table 17, yes! Yes, 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 uh, you, you forgot to count me! You are right, Monsieur! Yes, the audience was 39 and you guys smiley made 40! Wonderful! Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll just go in and sit down. Oh, no, 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 no! You may not go in and sit down. But why not? There is no chair for you! We have a table for 39, but we do not have a table for 40! Oh. <gasps> but... But no, no, no. I'm taking them to lunch. That's my audience in there. Uh, Reservation for O'Brien? Uh, yes, yes, yes. One moment, uh, please. Uh, but, but, it's okay. I will send you the check. But, but, yes, Mr. O'Brien, please. I can, I can sit with Mr. O'Brien. Mr. O'Brien, wouldn't you like to sit with Guy Smiley, America's favorite please game show host? talk to the customer. Oh, oh I, yes. I, I, uh, Miss Simon, nice to see you. You're Ms. usually Simon. able. Oh, Go uh, ahead, aren't please. you an old friend of mine? Yeah. No. Please, uh, but, don't talk but, to the customers. You're frightening them. Here, I can have lunch with. I got a bunch with the waiter. Uh, Come back. I, wait, perhaps wait, I could just sit on the uh, on the plants, perhaps. And now it's time to play everybody's favorite game, Name That Sound. And here's everybody's favorite game show host, Guy Smiley. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. This is Guy Smiley, America's favorite game show host, and we're here to play Name That Sound. So let us welcome our first contestant. Would you step in, please? <laughs> welcome, welcome. I understand you're Mr. Honker from the land of honk. Yes, and you certainly have a lot of friends out there, don't you? Okay, now, Mr. Honker, do you know how to play our game? Well, let me explain it to you then. You see, we are going to play three sounds. That's three sounds. And if Mr. Honker can name what makes each of those sounds, you will be very, very happy and proud of yourself, all right? Okay, now, are you ready to, for your first sound? Okay, now here it is. Listen carefully and see if you can name this sound. All right. <laughs> Yes, Mr. Honker, do you think you know what makes that sound? Okay, well, what makes that sound? I can't understand him. I can't understand you, Mr. Honker. But, oh, dear, well, I guess he just gave up. Yes, that's very sad, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, well, no, what's this? What are you doing? I, I was in the middle of a voice lesson. Oh, the... oh, I get it, I get huh? it. You have brought in a cow. He's brought in a cow, and that's the correct answer. <laughs> very good, our very television good. television camera. <laughs> what, what, 
and your guy smiling. I am, well, yes. This is a television studio. It is I'm on day. television. Well, you oh, are. What do you want me to do? Uh, nothing. See, if you dance, I can do over. anything, you know. No, I can just, do uh, just Mr. about Honker, anything. Mr. if you would just get rid of this cow, Ooh. please. Ooh. Yes, Ooh. Thank you. Oh, good. Well, now, are you ready for your second sound? Okay, well, listen closely and see if you can name this sound. There it is. Do you know what makes that sound? Okay, well, what makes that sound? I still can't understand him. Yes? Well, you only have a few seconds. Only a few seconds and what? Oh, I see. What's going on here? Yes, uh, you have brought in a horse, and a horse is the correct answer. Very good, uh, very good. A horse is what makes that sound. I make that sound? No, forgetful, you're not a horse. Uh, I'm not. No, I am. No, yeah, I forgot, you see. Uh, I didn't remember. <laughs> okay, who very I, good. Uh, well, I, you see, if I didn't you'll just get I these was. people out of Whoa. here, we'll continue with the game. All right, now, Mr. Honker, you have gotten two right. Let's see if you can name this last sound. Yes, yes, do you, yes, do you think you know what makes that sound? Well, uh, well, perhaps in this case you should just uh, write it down. Uh, what? Oh no! Uh, I I'm afraid he may have the right answer. Yes! Oh no! Ah! Oh my goodness! My goodness! He did it! It is a fire engine. That is the correct answer. So you win, Mr. Hawker. Is that a fire engine? I heard. Uh, is there a fire? No, there's no fire. Here. Oh no! no well, then, you, uh, so if you just uh, step well, out of the way here. If I'm not a horse, what am I? Uh, uh, this is cowboy. Guy Smiley uh, saying, yeah. that's our show for today. May all your sounds be happy ones. Uh, uh, can we now just get this fire engine out of here? And can uh, someone forget clear forget away the livestock? And now the star of daytime television, your host for the mystery mix-up game, Guy Smiley. from our studio audience. This is Altoona Rooney from Bushville, Mississippi. Come on out here, Mrs. Rooney. Wonderful. Me, yes, yes, it's you. Yes, it's you. Uh, wonderful, Mrs. Rooney. Tell me, uh, are you excited about playing yes, today's game? Yes, yes, yes. All right, Mrs. Rooney, let's find out all what wonderful prizes you're gonna win if you win. Prizes, prizes. <laughs> Mrs. Rooney, if you can solve today's mystery mix-up, all these fabulous prizes are yours. Yes, yes. Four fabulous flowers from Flegel the Florist. This terrific GTZ TV. A remarkable refrigerator by Cool and Company. Surprise package from Freddie Fink's Fabulous Furriers. A handsome vacuum cleaner by the Hoodwink Vacuum Cleaner Company. A stand-up, sit-down, fully automatic oven range by Rufus Ranges. This genuine plastic lawnmower by Dream Machine. A wonderful milk machine by Golden Guernsey. It's a cow! Add to these gifts this grand prize piano by Pulitzer. Back to you, guy. All right, Mrs. Rooney. Now, all you, all you have to do, uh, Mrs. Rooney, all you, have, all you have to do to win these wonderful prizes is go to our mystery mix-up board back there, and you're going to have to take all those things that are mixed up and put them in the right order. But first, let us, let us find out at home what our mystery mix-up puzzle is. Today's mystery mix-up is the word school. School. All right, Mrs. Rooney, are you ready? Yes. On your mark, get set, go! Let's see. Maybe the S would go up okay, over here. Okay, she has the that S. That looks nice, huh? Maybe the S. I think the uh, C would look right, very nice next to the S. 
and uh, C. maybe the H would look pretty right next now to the she's C. Got the H, and uh, H. Oh, maybe an O would next. look very next to the O. All right, she's nice got an O. She's got an O. Maybe another O would add texture to uh, the other she's O. She's got the other Oops, O. Oops, we got to drop down. Now the first O is back in place. One more look letter. Really and handsome school. Next to the she has O. And uh, but now oh, the flower pot is very the nice over here. She's putting it on the other side of the And the whole thing here to move by the piano. And it looks very attractive. And she's oh, putting them over by the cow. The flower pot looks lovely down there. You put your whole friend in now. And then, oh, moving the and that's it for today. Thank you for being with us, and be sure to tune in next time for the Mystery Mix-Up Game. It's time once again for America's pluckiest new game show, Are You Smarter Than an Egg Layer? And here's our host, Mr. Jeff... Boxworthy. Hey, hey, good evening. Thank you, thank you. Yes, I am Jeff Boxworthy. And I would just like to say, bok, ba, bok, 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 And that is chicken for. Let's bring out our first contestant. She is an accountant from Pickles Gap, North Dakota. Let's hear it for Miriam Cheswick. Yeah. All right. Hey, Miriam, you doing all right? Yeah. Uh -huh. What's that again? Yeah. Okay, I take that as a yes. Yeah. <laughs> You know you're a game show contestant when all you can say is woo. woo! <laughs> all right, well, now let's meet the rest of the class. There's Megan. <laughs> let's hear it for Jennifer. <laughs> Put your hands and wings together for Kyle. <laughs> and little Brittany. <laughs> and, of course, Tandoori. Cluck. All right, well, here are the subjects. <laughs> Grade A eggs. Grade A eggs. Grade B eggs. And finally, advanced AP eggs. So, Miriam, what subject will it be? Well, you know, um, I think I'll try grade A eggs, Jeff. Grade A eggs. All right, well, here is your question. You have two eggs. Two eggs. And you add one more egg. One more egg. How many eggs does that give you? Oh, that's a tough one. Oh, I don't know. Is it George Washington? Uh, now, now remember, Miriam, it is not a world history question. It is an <laughs> egg question. Egg. You have two eggs. You add one more egg. Mm. How many eggs do you have all together? <laughs> all right, well, the chickens have locked in their answers. What is your answer, Miriam? Oh, I have no idea, really. Would you like to ask a chicken? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, I'll ask Megan. Megan, how much is two eggs plus one egg? Bark, bark, bark. She says three eggs all together. Miriam, will you go with that answer? Um, yeah, sure, you betcha. All right, that is correct. <laughs> <laughs> two eggs plus one egg is one, two, three. Three eggs. Yay! All right, well, good yay! job there, Megan. Yay! All right, next subject, Miriam. Oh, um, I'll take grade B eggs. All right, here is your question. Yeah. You have three eggs, uh -huh. and you add three more eggs. Oh. How many eggs oh. do you have all together? Um, hmm. Hmm. The chickens are locked in. Oh. How about you, Miriam? Oh, I remember this one from chemistry class. Um, I think it has something to do with hydrogen. Not even close, Miriam. No. Why don't you just ask a chicken? Yeah, you betcha. Um, I'll ask Kyle. Kyle, how much is three eggs plus three eggs? Buck, 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 buck. Kyle says... Six eggs. Hmm? Yeah, sure. You betcha. That's a good one. Six. And that is correct. <laughs> three eggs plus three eggs is one, two, three, four, five, six. Six eggs <laughs> all together. Smart answer there, Kyle. <laughs> what about me? <laughs> it, I think without these chickens here, uh, you'd have some serious egg on your face, Miriam. <laughs> now here's your final question. Yes. The subject is, 
Advanced AP eggs. How many eggs are in a dozen? Mm. Oh, a dozen. How many eggs are in a dozen? I think it's somewhere like kajillion. Miriam, do yourself a favor and just ask a chicken. Oh, all right. Um, I'll ask Tandoori. How many eggs are in a dozen Tandoori? Cluck, 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 cluck. All right, Tandoori says there are 12 eggs in a dozen. I'll go with that. And that is... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve eggs. <laughs> Very smart, Tandoori. Ah, clock. <laughs> As for you, Miriam, Here. you are not smarter than an egg layer. Aww. But you have won! Woo! Woo! What I win? What I win? Ha <laughs> ha, Miriam, you have won a million bucks! A million bucks? I win! I win! A million bucks, a million bucks. Chicken, give her a prize. <laughs> what kind of prize is this? Yeah. <laughs> All right, folks. Uh -huh. Until next time, this is Jeff Foxworthy saying, "Bye, bye, bye, bye." America's most emotional game show, The Crying Game. And here he is, America's friendliest game show host, the man with the tea, Sonny Friendly. <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Hey, are we having a nice day or what, huh? Yeah, we sure are. Yeah, okay, let's meet today's contestants on The Crying Game. Yeah, uh -huh. First from Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, we have Mr. Luke Warm. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And, and how do you do? Mm-hmm, I do pretty good. Nice to have you here, Luke. Yeah, and now from the great state of Kansas, here's Miss Ida Nomer. Just call me Miss Noma. Okay, I will do that. And next, here he is, all the way from Paris, France, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Gordon Blue. Bonjour, America! Bonjour! Whatever you say, Pierre. All right, now here's how we play the crying game. Each of you will hear a sad, sad story, and whoever cries the best, according to our studio audience, will win today's special prize. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Are you ready for your sad, sad stories? Oh, oh yes. Wee wee wee. Okay. Wee. All right. Terrific. Well, let's start with you, Luke. Here goes. It's Friday. The phone rings. It's your best friend, Bill. Yeah, and he tells you that he can't come over and play. How's that make you feel, huh, Luke? B -b -b Bill can't play? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, good crying, Luke. Yeah, that was, that was good. Nice touch with that nose thing there. Yeah, that was terrific. All right. Miss Ida Nomer, Miss Nomer, here is your sad story. You're out feeding the chickens, and suddenly your chickens run away and join the circus. Yeah. But I love those chickens. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful Ida. Yeah, a real gusher. Yeah. Okay, Pierre, are you ready for your sad story? Oui. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, are you or not, Pierre? Yes, I am ready. Go on, go okay, on. Okay, okay. You're eating breakfast at your favorite bistro. Uh-huh. You order 
orange juice, uh -huh. cereal, uh -huh. and a croissant. Uh -huh. But they're all out of croissants. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How about it, Pierre? No croissant? How can that be? Oh, we're not civilized. Oh. Oh. Are they passionate people or what, huh? Yeah, yeah. Okay, audience, it's time to vote. Yeah, but first, let's tell our contestants here about today's fabulous prize. Today's best crier will win Sonny Friendly's very own teddy bear. My teddy bear? That's the prize? But, but I love my teddy bear. You can't do that. <laughs> you Sunny Friendly, that. you are the best crier on the crying game. What? You win. I win? You mean I get to keep my teddy bear? Wow, this is the happiest day of my life. Yeah, thank you, thank you, yeah. But what do we have for our contestants here? Huh? Nothing. Nothing? That's awful. That's not fair. No. It makes me so sad. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we can't all be winners, huh? <laughs> yeah, well, thank you, and see you next time on the crying game, yeah. Oh, Teddy, it's good to have you back. Are we having fun or what, huh? Yeah, this is terrific. Thank you. Thank you very much.